Alrighty, so we officially have the trailer for uh, Lolly Merlin, Festival Merlin, True Form Merlin. I don't really know what to call her at this point. I feel like everybody calls her something different, really. But uh, yeah, uh, she's here, uh, I guess, with the trailer dropping on Thursday. I don't know. They always seem to, for festival units, I, I feel like they always end up dropping some sort of trailer uh, kind of like midweek. Uh, before they actually come out so I don't know I'm actually kind of like I kind of like the way that they did the trailer for this one they show off uh, some of the story stuff right here you can see with uh, I think it's Chandler um, yeah but they show off him a little bit I'm assuming that we're gonna be getting the story chapter that where you actually see uh, Festival Merlin for the first time in the actual story and everything like that so that'll be really cool I, I would assume that's the reason why they're showing all the Chandler stuff as well um, so yeah, they kind of go over, show some of the cutscenes and everything like that from the story, and uh, they go over her skills a little bit here in the uh, later half. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think on the whole thing, because I mean, I don't know, I feel like at this point a lot of players have kind of, um, kind of chosen to either skip Merlin and just go straight for like ReZero or you know whatever the case may be. I'm not exactly sure what the the, the community is doing because obviously everybody's going to do something different but I actually really like uh, this Merlin quite a bit. Um, I think she's really good for Grey Demon for sure. I think that's honestly what I'm most excited for about uh, her specifically but uh, you know she's she's pretty good in PvP and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, just her her skill, this one, like her single target with Power Strike does really, really good damage. Um, and then her AoE like puts Infect on for two turns, which surprisingly can be used with the Festival King team quite a bit, which is kind of cool. Um, so I think that's really neat. And then her ultimate is uh, pretty cool. Honestly, just her design in general, like with the skills and stuff like that, I feel like they did a really good job with her, um, which I don't know, I guess for most people, like this specific form of Merlin probably isn't the most hype thing you've ever seen, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I feel like they did a really good job on her. So uh, let me know what your sort of opinions are for it, because obviously we pretty much knew that she was coming at this point anyway. Um, I feel like if you kind of keep up to date with stuff behind the scenes or just on the forums or kind of know how this whole thing works as far as like JP and Korea and Global goes, uh, you pretty much already knew she was coming. But I guess this is just confirmation for people who don't really keep up with that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I know. Uh, Maybe not everybody is, but I don't know. If not, I mean, it's just going to be another month worth of uh, maybe saving. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool, I guess. I'm really interested to see who the who we end up getting for the, like, half uh, festival celebration banner. Because, obviously, we don't... Uh, or I think uh, JP and Korea's last banner was Aha, like Ozo and Hawk, I think, which we already have on Global. And then they're doing the ReZero collab right now. So I don't know if they're going to end up releasing another banner and we'll get that banner as our half anniversary or not half anniversary, but half festival banner or what the case is there. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. I don't know why, but I just I don't know, festival units are always kind of hype no matter what they are. So uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, feel free to subscribe and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, see you later.